What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Pastor Gaines and if you're looking for a good Twitch bot for your stream, Mix It Up has you covered. We're going to take you from start to finish, getting set up. Let's get into it. Now to start this whole process, we are going to get Mix It Up onto your PC. So you're going to go to your browser, type in Mix It Up bot, and it's going to bring you to this page. You're going to go to mixitupapp.com, which should be the first link up there, and it'll take you right to their website. Up in the top right corner, you're going to hit download. Once you hit download, the download process will start. You go to where your downloads are kept, open up Mix It Up, and then this window will pop up. This very small Mix It Up login window is going to appear right in the center of your screen. From there, it's going to ask you to create an account because you will not have an account here. So you're going to hit create account and it will take you through the process of creating your Mix It Up account. Once you do that, you can log in with this button right here. As you're logging in, it's going to load up and then it will bring you into the actual app. Now that you've made it into Mix It Up, there are a million and a half things that you can do with this app, but we're just gonna take it really, really simple, right to the basics and explain what you're seeing currently. So what you're seeing right now is the automatic window that pops up, which is the chat window. This should be blank if you're not streaming. If you have been streaming, you'll see names over here on the side, like you can see for mine, but the menu button is where all the bread and butter takes place. Now the last thing I wanna do is help you guys understand what the menu button has in it. There is so much information here, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. So what we're gonna do is click on the menu button and I'm gonna briefly explain the things that I think are very, very important for you to use to make things easier for you in your Twitch streaming journey. So we're gonna talk about the chat here real quick. This is literally the exact same chat you would see on Twitch in the stream manager that is there. Nothing's changed, it's the exact same thing. You see your viewers over here, the chat will come up here on the left. You can deal with a ton of the settings on this as well and change a bunch of things around whether you want to see the viewer count or not. It's up to you, but that is there. The next thing we're going to briefly look at is the channel. Now you can hit your channel from the menu and you can see your stream title, the game you're playing, and all the tags that you're currently using. This is very easy to use. All you have to do is sort through the games up here. Also change your title as you would on Twitch and hit update and that is that that's all you have to do with that another area that i think is probably really important is your commands i assume the majority of you are going to be running commands with mix it up which is why you would have it in the first place under commands is where all of your commands are going to be you can add commands new commands you can edit commands here everything command related is going to be here in the commands tab then moving on in the menu button, we're gonna head down to events and timers. Events is literally anything that's gonna happen on your Twitch stream, whether it's being followed, hosts, raids, all of that stuff. You can add commands for everything and you can get very, very in depth in it. I do have tutorials on my YouTube channel if you wanna know how to do that better. So go back up to menu and we're gonna talk about timers. Timers is pretty much a command that repeats itself over and over and over again. So if you want people to remember, hey, clip the stream if you see something awesome, you can add a timer for that and it will come up every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want it to be. And that is how timers operate. So going back to the menu, next thing we're gonna look at real quick is the users. This is anyone who has ever been in your Twitch chat. Now, you will not be able to see this the first time you fire up Mix It Up. There will be nobody here because Mix It Up has not been active in your stream until you stream one time with Mix It Up. So this will be blank. Once you stream with Mix It Up, it will activate your users that have come into that chat. You can see how long they've been watching, who they are. You can ban people here. You can time people out here. Everything user related is gonna be right here. So back in the menu, scroll back down past users and you are going to hit channel points. Now channel points typically is done directly on Twitch, but you can really spice up your channel points with Mix It Up. I do have a video on that. So go ahead and check that one out as well. It's gonna teach you how to make your channel points really, really awesome instead of just the little gray text that appears in your chat. So the last two things I wanna make you guys aware of in the menu that I think is pretty important are the giveaway tabs and the services tabs. So if you click on the giveaway tabs, you can run giveaways directly through Mix It Up and it's super easy. Basically, the total time the giveaway is gonna be going on, the reminder before the giveaway starts to let people know, hey, it's happening. And then you can change the max entries from one to as many as you want to. It really doesn't matter as long as it's more than one if you have more than one people. But you can start the reminder, you can select the winner here, and then you can start your giveaway and it's just that simple. So scrolling back over to the menu, you can go back down to services. There are three services here that I think are essential for you to have linked in Mix It Up. The first one being your stream software. So I have Streamlabs. Mine is, where is mine? Mine is Streamlabs OBS right here. It is connected. You can test your connection to say, hey, it's connected correctly. Then if you scroll down to the bottom, 
Twitter is another good one. You can send tweets via Mix It Up, which is super simple, so you don't have to get on your phone on stream or go to Twitter and open up a different window. And then finally, Discord is really, really important, I feel, to have linked to your Mix It Up. It allows you to send commands directly to your Discord. You can send clips directly to your Discord when stream is starting, when stream is ending, messages to your Discord, all that stuff. Super, super important for you to do. But you can link more than that. Obviously, there's voice mod, pixel chat, Rainmaker, treat stream, a ton of different things you can select and link to your mix it up. I personally don't use those or use them yet, but these are the ones that I have so far. So that's going to be it for us, guys. So hopefully you guys got a lot out of this video. I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the very end through all the Mix It Up tutorial that we just went through. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It allows me to know what kind of content you guys are looking forward to seeing. Also hit that bell notification so you can see when I'm putting out more videos. I also stream over on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you like variety streamer gameplay and content, feel free to head over there. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.